What do you think, buddy? Is it time to wrap some Christmas presents? Eh? You gonna help me wrap some Christmas presents? Why don't we start with the wife? It's funny you ask. You know, my grandmother once got a cast iron skillet from my grandfather. He thought she was a lucky lady. Good morning guys, up bright and early. We were expected to get 20 inches of snow last night. We didn't get it. We got maybe three, maybe three and a half inches of snow. But I still need to try out the new uh, four wheeler and plow system. So I'm gonna do that. This just means that we're probably gonna get more snow later today. So this is kind of like a day in the life of Gary video. Um, I also wanted to mention, I don't understand this. Before we had any snow yesterday, we had our little, you know, one centimeter, less than half an inch for all my American viewers. They canceled the buses last night before it even snowed. Do you guys remember when you were kids, the school bus plowing through three feet of snow? You know, if a car was stuck on the side of the road in front of them, they would just push it out of the way and keep going. Like you got to school one way or another. This is a true story, okay? The bus picked us up, ended up in the ditch, kind of on its side, because we slid right off the road. The bus driver went to use somebody's phone, because there were no phones in the day. We lived in the country. She probably had to walk a mile to get to a phone. Everybody cleared out the back of the bus. The older kids opened the back door and said, forget this. We all walked home and got a day off. And that was the only day we ever got off, a snow day. And it was not an official snow day. The bus system here last night canceled all the buses before it even snowed. And this in the last four or five years has become the norm. For all my snowblower and plower viewers out there, you guys will know that this is irksome, right? When the wife's got to get up at five o'clock and go to work, she doesn't understand. Wake me up, I need to snowblow or plow before you go. Because once she does that, it messes up the whole system. Because what happens is they pack down the snow there and then eventually they pack it down so many times you get these two humps in the driveway. And then all winter, if you're pushing a snowblower, up over the hump, down the hump, into the hump, you're fighting it the whole time. It's terrible. And the women just don't understand. I love this system for a quick hookup and release. Uh, I've gone for two rides this week and it was a matter of seconds to unhook and hook the plow back up.
this when we're done it looks something like that this is the second time gary has had to do the driveway this year let's run a poll this winter just for fun vote below guys how many times this winter is gary gonna have to do this driveway all right and this year we're really late probably by now i would have already done it six seven eight times so this is number two vote below Just another day in the life of Gary. Two hours of printer maintenance. Yeah, this is a job I love doing. I just ordered all new inks. And the printer has sat here for a year because of COVID. And now it won't print. Everything's clogged up. I'm trying to do cards for the office. Buy $60 in ink, and then it takes $30 of that ink to get the printer unclogged and working. I go through this every two years, and I tell myself, why do I keep bothering? I don't know. <laughs> I don't make any money on cards anyway, but all of our patients complain if I don't keep the card racks full. I lose money on this stuff. I don't know why I bother. <laughs> Anybody notice uh, that two of these aren't working? Guess which two I just replaced from this order that I spent 60 bucks on from inkjet.ca and the most frustrating part is I've got a magenta I threw it back in the box it didn't have the chip all of these have chips on them and uh, I actually got one without a chip so that's no good to me it won't print and then the other two that I've replaced have the chips on them but they're not full functional I don't know whether it's reading the ink level properly the lights aren't on on those two. Seems weird to me. And then, of course, when you get the new inks, you've got to touch a Kleenex or something to them to, to try to get the ink to start flowing. Ah, oh, it's just... Ah, <sighs> frustration. It's a classic case of this being a $700 printer, and every time you fill those ink cartridges, it's $166 if you buy the Canon ones. And I've spent years trying to find a company that has good replacement inks that last just as long. It's impossible to do because the company that I'm dealing with online, they switched their manufacturer to a Chinese company. Now I have no clue if these inks that they've given me are going to use. So I won't print anything other than cards with these because I tell people, right? You buy a card, hey, put it out for a couple weeks. If it fades, it's a card, right? I do have a lot of people. Oh, nice. <laughs> I do have a lot of people that try to jip me on my artwork. They won't buy a nice print. Right? I do prints and I get these done outside. Like I don't print these myself. They won't pay 30 bucks for a print, but they'll buy the cards, cut them out, and make their own photo collage on the wall. And then they get mad when the prints fade, the, the cards fade. And uh, I've gone through this about five or six times over the years. I'm like, you know what? If somebody buys a print and they have an issue with it, I replace it right away. If they buy the cards, and they tell me, oh, I put them on a frame in the wall. Hey, that's not what I sold you. I didn't sell you prints for the wall. I sold you a card. It's a dirty business that you don't make any money from, guys. <laughs> cards. Bah. And I've been doing cards for 25 years, so, yeah. I enjoy making cards. I enjoy sharing cards. I don't enjoy selling them. So, as you can see, I've used half the ink, and I have cleaned this print head 12 times using the software and it is not printing. So I'm gonna take this out and try to wash it, clean it manually with warm water, making very sure not to get any water on those electronic contacts. Just warm water. It's kinda of sad that they have these printers set up to use the ink to moisten the heads and then clean it. And so they have two modes, regular mode, which uses a little bit of ink, and deep clean mode, which I've been using, which uses a lot of ink, 12 times will burn through half your ink. So if you had bought Canon ink at 166 bucks, right, you'd be looking at $80 worth of ink just wasted trying to clean this head. So I'm going to recommend always take the print head out and just clean it like this manually. This one is really clogged. I've never had to do this before. Usually once or twice of cleaning uh, through software will clean it, but just another way these big companies screw us over, right? Look at how much ink 
came out of the bottom there. And I'm going to just repeat this process <laughs> two, three, four more times until no ink is coming out the bottom. This is attempt number seven. And you can see it's getting much cleaner at this point. These ones over here were the ones that were really clogged. So there's still a tiny bit of ink coming out the bottom, so I'm going to do this one or two more times until it's even clearer than that. Final step is take the hair dryer and just dry it out so there's no water on top of that print head anymore. We could just let it air dry, but I'm not that patient. Finally, after three hours of cleaning, I, I crumpled and threw this out before I forgot to film it and show you guys. I think I fixed it. Yeah, it cost me about 40 bucks in ink though. Well, it's finally working. I can get busy printing cards. I've got about three hours worth of work to do to refill all my card racks now. Finished product. And repeat 600 times. Now there's what four hours of your day will get you. A whole bunch of cards. Enough to stock up the office anyway. Didn't get out to check trail cameras today. Didn't get into the office yet today. I still have to go do office work tonight. Um, didn't Gage and I didn't get out for an adventure today. This uh, printing and card restocking took the whole day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. More adventures to come. Catch you in the next one.